Hello there guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today we're talking about emotions in manifesting. They're spoken about a lot, aren't they? Elevated emotions. Do this, do that. Raise your emotion, feel gratitude, make this happen, do this, do that. And you will manifest. Well today we're going to break down the truth. This is the truth that I know to be true through doing the work myself and teaching hundreds of people like you how to manifest. I'm going to speak about it today. Before I do that, if you like Spirituality Simplified, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a like. And it really helps the channel to be seen by more people. Also, please join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, uh, where we have a lot of like-minded people there. And I answer questions and help people on their journey. So let's go into this today. Emotions. Where, what is their place in the manifestation process? Well, here's what I think. In, when it comes to manifesting, it's not your emotions that are going to manifest. Your emotions are a great tool, and I'm going to go into that in a minute. Put a pin in that thought. Your emotions are the tool, but what actually manifests for you is a deep-rooted belief. It's a faith and expectancy. It's a knowing. It's an acceptance of the new state of being. It's an acceptance of the new life. It's when you start to accept your manifestation that it comes to you. It's who you are deep down in an energetic level that manifests. Why do I say this? Well, I say this because many people think they've got to live in a constant state of gratitude or a constant state of a high elevated emotion to create anything. And that's just false. It's a falsity that's keeping you stressed. It's making you live an unbalanced life. You see, balance is the key to happy, successful life and manifestation. So find balance and you'll find your alignment to the divine. You see, think about the divine. Think about this world, this creation that we're living in. It has absolute harmony and balance within it to maintain the systems. It has balance in the solar system, you know, with a gravitational pull. It has balance in the ecosystem. When it goes out of balance, what happens? There's trouble. If it's too much of one thing, it's, it's, it, it uh, destroys something else. So elevated emotions and constantly living in elevated emotions is actually harming your manifestation. It's harming you. It's not helping you to create. Yes, they're a great tool. And I want to talk about this. Your emotions are a tool for you to change your energetic standpoint. Let me talk about this. Your energetic standpoint is the energetic you. Now, I want to change myself on an energetic level to create in my life so emotions are a great indicator of where i'm at if i'm feeling stressed fearful uh, uncertain i like them as a as a indicational tool so now it's showing me that i'm out of balance there's something in my life that is making me react there's something that i'm thinking is not right i want to start to notice these emotions not live from them not act from them so now if i act from that stressful fearful emotion that's where problems arise that's where monetary health issues relationship issues are going to arise when i'm living from those emotions if i can start to just see them for what they are as is uh, indicators indicators of my energetic standpoint of my 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 reaction to life now my job is to work with those emotions, become the observer of them, sit back, release, relax, let them go. Why do I say this? Because then you are now not being controlled by your emotions. You are now the leader of them. Now, from peace is where your gratitude and your uh, joy, harmony, uh, thrill, gorgeousness, wonderfulness is going to arise, okay? but. The truth is I've, manifesta I've manifested when I'm in anger. I've manifested when I'm frustrated. We're always creating. You see, Elon Musk, who is one of the most wealthy people in the world, when he's angry every day, does he still not make a million dollars a day? He still manifests it. But surely he should be living in bliss every second of the day if he is that wealthy. Surely he is the bliss guy because that's the only way that you can create is to feel bliss, isn't it? No, it's a belief, it's a knowing. So emotions are the tool to help shift you into the new state of being, to create the new belief. Now, if you, gent if you gently use emotion in your meditation and visualization, if you allow it to naturally arise within these spaces, then you can really effortlessly change into the new state of being. But when you are thinking that they are the only way to manifest, now you're becoming false. 
And when you become false, you become lopsided, you come out of balance. And the truth is, is when you're out of balance, that's when, you, that when you're lost to the true divine nature of things. You see, Wu Wei, or the way of letting go, the path of least resistance, is shown to be the most effortless way, the path of least effort. There is a, there is a natural creative ability within you. All you have to do is change your reactionary standpoint towards life and you do that by becoming the aware of your emotions do not worry about feeling so wonderful all the time you know it all all i ask you to do actually from my point of view from my teachings is, is to notice when you are out of balance so notice when you're frustrated now if you go out of balance towards extreme joy don't fight against that you know that's lovely you will naturally come out of that you can't live there so you'll find balance. But when you're in anger, frustration, fear and all that, you can live in that for a long time. So it's actually good to notice those. Notice where they are on your body. Sit and observe them. Relax and release. This is the key to absolute manifestation. So just remember, I've manifested a huge abundance uh, of money at one time when I was angry. I've shouted at the gods or God and said, why are you doing it? I'm doing all this work. And then the manifestation comes. What I recognize from that point, I've also done it from bliss, guys, you know, and, I, and I'm not saying you should be angry or shout. But what I'm saying is what I did was I changed my acceptance of who I was. Now I accept uh, a certain level of abundance. Now I accept a certain level of love, peace and harmony. Now I accept this. Much. What are you accepting? Are you accepting debt, pain, struggle, strife? Or are you starting to notice how this makes you feel uncomfortable? And then being willing to sit with the discomfort of that. Observe it until it moves, releases. And then claiming what you want. But you do it regularly and systematically, lovingly, knowingly, expectantly. And then suddenly you're going to start to change. You'll notice if you work with me and if you get to know me, is that I'm someone who aims for balance, harmony, flow. These are the creative things. My life is changing rapidly around me by doing this. Yours will too. You will find health, success, love, all of these wonderful things. When you recognize that there is a power that always wants to bless you, it always wants to give you joys of life. It always wants to love you. It wants to bring you everything you've ever wanted. We must get out of the way. That is what it is. Sometimes you're going to feel angry. Do not worry. You haven't done anything wrong. It's a natural energy. The thing is, is how long are you going to live in there? How long are you going to stay this way? What, what are you going to do to change it? You're going to do what I suggested in this video. You're going to find joy. You're going to create joy. But what you really need to know is that peace, harmony and balance are actually going to create for you. They're going to give you that. Why does Neville Goddard, why does Joseph Murphy, why does Joe Dispenza recommend getting into a very relaxed state of being? Because then there is no resistance. You can live in that state of being. It's called peace and presence. Joy, bliss, all of these things will flourish in that area, but you'll never have to force them. I hope that answers your question, guys. I'll see you at the next video. If you want a bit more in-depth learning and connection with a community, check out my VIP group, The Living, Be the Living Reborn Membership as well. I'll see you at the next one, guys.